Hi guys, welcome back to one more video on FFP build series. If you are new to our channel, make sure you check out all the individual videos from this playlist on building this gaming rig. Along with those videos, we have already shown how to configure this DIY EMC steering wheel with the games like Eurotruck Simulator and Mud Runner. When I tried to set up the same in Forza Horizon, the game was not detecting this EMC wheel. I came across some blocks on JMX adapter which emulates the DIY wheel as a standard controller and makes it compatible in most of the games. So in this video, we'll see how to make this JMX adapter and use our EMC wheel with a Forza Horizon. For making this adapter, you need Arduino Pro Micro Board, FTDI, USB to UART converter along with a USB cable and some jumper wires. Moving on to the connections, first ensure 5V jumper is enabled on the UART board. The RX pin on the UART converter goes to TX or pin 0 of the Pro Micro. The TX pin goes to RX or pin 1 of the Pro Micro board. In the ground connects to ground. You can also use this diagram for the reference. After making the connections, connect both the boards to the computer USB port. Moving on to the software side, first download all the required files from the link in the description box. and extract it. First, we'll run the GMX setup file and complete the installation. After installation, search and open the GMX launcher. So you will get this window. So here the port refers to the communication port of the FTDI converter, which we can find it in the device manager under port section. In my case, it's 14. Now to update the firmware, on Arduino Pro Micro, go to help, click on update firmware. In the list, select EMU G27.hex and click on load. So we can proceed with this. Plug both sides of the adapter to computer USB port, which we have already done. So I'll directly click on OK. So now we have to unplug and replug the USB port on the Arduino Pro Micro board to enter into the bootloader. So after this, the firmware starts uploading and we should get the successful message. We can close all these windows. Now I'll connect my DIY EMC steering wheel to the computer USB port. and open EMC light interface. So this was steering wheel.
in the pedals, accelerator and brake. It's time to map the EMC controls to the emulator. For that, go to file, edit config. So we get this error message. We can ignore and proceed with OK. This is the config editor window. First, we'll start with analog axis inputs. Click on auto detect and start moving the steering wheel. So the zero axis is automatically detected. I'll assign this particular axis for the wheel and click on add button. So this is successfully added here. So moving on to the pedals, again click on auto detect and I'll start moving the accelerator pedal. So this is detected as axis one. I'll assign this to gas and click on add. So there is a calibration pop-up. So you can move your pedal to minimum and maximum position. Press any button on the keyboard and click on OK. And similarly, for the last brake axis, auto detect, this is axis two. I'll assign it to break, add and calibrate min and max position. So this is all for the analog axis. In the same way, we can do it for digital inputs. So go to button tab, click on auto detect and press the required button. So in my case, it is detected button 17. I'll assign it to up and click on add. So in the same way, you can configure the required number of buttons and the analog axis. We can save this config file and close. Since our DIY EMC wheel will be emulated as a G27, we need to install this particular driver. For that, again go to downloaded folder and use this LGS installer file. With this, we have completed all the steps. So before we open any game, we have to activate the GIMX device by using the start button. So once you click start, you get this window, which indicates our device is running, which we have to keep as it is. In order to check if all our inputs are getting detected, search for Logitech gaming software And in the taskbar, open Logitech Profiler. Go to Device, Game Controller, select Logitech G27 Properties. So all the inputs I'm giving from my DIY game controller is successfully detected in this LGS window. So with this, we have completed all the configurations required for the GMX adapter. I'll close all the windows. So now, if you want to play any games with the help of the GMX adapter and your DIY wheel, we don't have to repeat all these configuration steps from the beginning. Just plug both the sides of adapter to USB port. 
plug your DIY wheel to the USB port. Open EMC wheel interface. Open GMX launcher. And click on start. So if you see this black prompt window, our emulator is successfully running and it's time to start the game. I'll open Forza Horizon 4. Now I'll show you how to add the controls. Start game. Go to options. Controls. Here we can see wheel option is enabled this time. And in the layout, Logitech G27 is detected. Here I'll start assigning my inputs. Accelerate, brake, and steering. In the same way, you can also add the buttons. In the advanced tab, you get all the force feedback settings. So everything is working as expected, including the force feedback. Turn right. So that's all for this video guys. I hope it will help you a lot. If you have any doubts, let me know in the comment section below. For all the files to download, visit the link in the description box. Thank you for watching. We'll be back in the next one.